That wasn't gonna kill me. What's up, you guys? It's Serial Jasmine here, back with another video. And today I have five guys. Yes, I wanted a big old juicy burger real bad, and that's what I got. Ooh. I love Five Guys burgers. They're like so juicy. Look at that. And then, so I got a cheeseburger with the works, mayo, ketchup, lettuce, pickles, tomato, all the good stuff. And then I heard they had hot dogs. So I got a hot dog, kosher beef. And I just got ketchup and mustard on this. I'm not a hot dog fan and I don't even eat pork, but we'll try out this beef hot dog. And then I got a little Cajun fry, which they put a lot more than a little fries in there. I'm so hungry. And I got a Sprite, of course. All right, let's dig in. Because I have something to ask you guys. And I need help. Oh no, I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. I like the seasoning on these. Last night I had a dream, but I don't know if it was like a dream dream or like I seen a movie and my subconscious is replaying it in my head as I sleep. I, I don't know, comment down below if that ever happens to you. Like if you were to watch Alien vs Predator before you go to bed and then suddenly in your dreams you're dreaming of a predator, you know, fighting and shooting and killing and all that other stuff. I had this dream and it was very movie like but I'm not sure like if it was actually a movie or not and if so what movie is it? So I'm gonna describe to you how the dream went. Mm. This is a big hot dog. I like my my hot dogs like off the grill if I'm gonna get a hot dog okay 
So it was like in this house, kind of like Airbnb like or like not really a hotel, but like a house and where there are like different rooms and different people. And then so there's the main room. Let I'm let me just call it home room, just so you know which room I'm talking about. So in the home room, there's a couple adults, couple kids, and myself, of course. So we get there, and then we spend like a day or two there, and then all of a sudden, some of the adults like come running into home room, like panic. Ugh. Excuse me, like panic and scared, kind of like lost and looking. It seemed as though they was looking for another adult, so it has to be like three adults and two of them come running in the room and they look like they're panicking, they're looking around, ah, oh, da 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 da. And then there's rooms and then like home room, there's like bathrooms and rooms. And it was weird because it was like it was dark and so every room that they ran out was like another room that they ran into. If that makes sense. So it's like they would think they're running into a new room, but when they ran into the room, it would be home room that they're running into. And so it's kind of like a trick with the door thing. So you run out, but you're really running into the same room you was just running out of. Yes. Boom. Okay. So everybody's lost and confused. Um, there was a scene where there was like a prison, I think. But it was like the prisoners didn't act like they were in a prison like it was pretty relaxed nobody was stressed it was just like more like the acceptance stage like yeah we're gonna be here forever like we in prison type type of vibe and so it was so weird then it's sunny now all the adults disappeared don't know what happened to them. Now it's just me and the kids. It has to be like two, three, six, like six year olds, like big enough to like walk and talk and do things on their own, but like, excuse me, still small enough to need supervision. Oh, the room was so weird. It's like a regular room, but it had like clues as to what was kind of going on there. Cause clearly something different was going on. And then every time it's dark, weird stuff happens. And then every time it was sunny, it was like a chance to escape. But then we still can't seem to get out of this house that we're in. The kids were able to leave that room and we found the main hallway. So then, once we get to the main hallway, that's when we see like other people, other characters. Um, there's an old white lady and her husband and like a granddaughter or a daughter that's around five or six. And then other rooms. And it was weird because then it was dark again. Then it was like you get trapped in the room that you're in. And you sort of have to escape out of it or else like you die so it was like I remember I was in a scene it was so vivid and I don't know where this is coming from because there were so many details that I don't know how if I don't know how I could make this up so it was like a swimming pool area but in a school type of setting if you ever saw a swimming pool in a school like in a high school or middle school. That's how it sort of looked. A little bit of gym, a little bit of swimming pool, there was ropes, blah, blah, blah. So I got stuck in that room and I guess the clues was to escape through the window. There was like a small panel, like window, kind of like, what are those doors that like the dog or the cat could go in and out of? It was like that, but like rectangular instead of square and really small and really really high up the catch is there was like these little doll evil doll things that have like knives and stuff weapons 
Basically, they were the one killing you, like evil little doll, baby dolls. It was so weird. I went up to the window and I broke the glass with my knee, and then I couldn't get through because it was a lock, so I had to find a key. And then I looked over, and the key was in the swimming pool, but I couldn't swim in the swimming pool because there were chemicals in it. So if I opened my eyes, that would like burn my eyes out. So I had to swing across the ropes, swing, swing, swing across the ropes, and then jump into the pool with my eyes closed, shut really, really tight, and then I could hear the dolls chasing behind me, and then. I was swimming in the pool, feeling the wall, and then I grabbed the key, but then the dog <laughs> knocked me up real quick, and I'm like, ah, 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 he stabbed me, ah, my back, ah, ah, and then I jumped, quickly jumped up, and then slice, he got my leg, I'm like, ah, my leg, so I'm limping, so I'm limping, and I jump on the rope, and swing back to the window, swinging, 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 and then I get back to the window, unlock it, and then like, I literally had to slide to that window, like, I mean, head has to go to the side, just to fit through, like, it was ridiculous. I don't know why that was so vivid. Listen, if this sounds like a movie, let me know in the comments. Because if this is not a movie, I need to make this movie ASAP. But let me finish. So then I escaped the room. Somehow, it was sunny again. So then I, I bumped into the other kids, only to find it out. Like, one or two other kids didn't make it. So it was me and one of the six heroes. I found out the old white lady had some secret plot basically to lure that six-year-old into her room with her husband and her daughter slash granddaughter or whatever. For some reason, she wanted, like, her to play with the kids, to do some type of weird ritual, just to find out that everybody in this house was dead the whole time. They were dead because they died in the rooms at night, which means when it was sunny, they could be like, like up and walking around, but they were dead. So like you can stab them 20 times, but nothing affects them. But the weirdest part was the end. It was like, it was night, and then they was trying to perform their ritual on the alive six-year-old. And then I bust in a room, and I'm whacking people in the head and stabbing people in the gut, but they're dead. That's not affecting them. That, if anything, that's just slowing them down just a little bit. I grab the six-year-old, we run out of there. But again, since it's dark, it's like the, the room does the trick at night so it's we're running out of the room just to run back in through a different door and it was all so crazy we had to go back to home room the room we originated in and then and basically we come up with a plan and that we needed to leave out the room exactly at a certain time between the darkness and the sunlight in order to actually leave the house for example let's say 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock exactly is the only time frame that we would have to open the door and leave before the door starts playing tricks again. I don't know, the old people followed us and we had to trick them out and I had to sacrifice myself, quickly run to the door and we, both of us happened to get out. I think that's my subconscious telling me I'ma live. I'm a survival, okay? And that's what made it a dream and not a nightmare. Because if I would have died, I probably would have woke up instantly like, oh my god, I just died. Like, mm. But I don't know if that's like a movie. I mean, I guess it's more similar to American Horror Story. But I haven't been watching that. Idea where that came from. I feel like I have way many more details that I didn't even explain, but that was just way too vivid to be like 
a dream and not an actual movie that my subconscious is just replaying in my brain. Comment down below if that sounds like an actual movie because, excuse me, if it is, I want to watch it. But if it's not, uh, I don't know where a prison came from. Like, I guess that would have been a clue. Because, like, there's a reason why everybody was just sitting around content. Because it was dead. It was a prisoner of dead people. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't eat hot dogs. I don't eat pork. So I didn't look at the ingredients just to make sure that it was actually a beef hot dog. And it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't I never had all the fixings on a hot dog before. Like I only ever had it plain, like ketchup, mustard. That's it. And for it. <laughs> No, oh my goodness, that freaking dream had me thinking about it all day. Oh, I grilled the bread too. That's good. And they always give so many fries. What do five guys give all these fries for? I feel like they just be trying to give them away. Or, what, it's like $5 for? I don't know what my receipt is, but the fries do cost a lot. Alright, you guys, that is all for this video. I right, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell. Give this video a big old thumbs up. And comment down below if that story sounds like an actual movie. And comment down the movie title um, so I could watch it. Or if it just sounds like a dream, comment down below. Girl, you dreaming. <laughs> And I'll see you in my next video. And until next time, stay awesome.